Hi guys, it's Iwana Turtle and today we are doing something very different where uh, actually one of my subscribers, Jabra, I'm guessing it's uh, pronounced, kind of asked in from one of my videos, you know, why was base set Charizard such a big deal and or you know, what, why was he so popular? Why is he so sought after? Uh, so I figured I'd take the time to kind of like answer that question. It feels like a very good question for just for people that aren't familiar with it And we'll kind of go through some cards in my collection that revolve around Charizard So we'll start off with just some cards that uh, These are some recent PSA uh, cards I've acquired that were Charizard So all these if you've seen uh, been watching my videos all these will look kind of familiar uh, But then when it comes to the base set, so this is a BGS Charizard base set Charizard and so as far as why was this card so popular uh, and I kind of have my own opinion um, so in my mind there's a couple things first off when it comes to the base set starters and their evolutions um, Charizard was you know kind of like a it was a flying lizard that breathes fires you know as close as dragon that or it wasn't dragon type but it was very close to like what we think of in dragons like if you think of like i don't know game of thrones or something like that um not only that so it had 120 hp so there were a couple other cards that had 120 hp um i think it was chancy but uh Venusaur might have had a hundred um but Chansey had an attack that did damage to itself, and then Charizard had a fire spin which did a hundred damage. A nice round number. So really high HP, really high attack. I think the only other Pokemon in the base set that could do a hundred damage was Zapdos. Zapdos had less HP, and to use the attack you had to discard all your energy, whereas Charizard just had to discard two. So all those things combined, I feel like made Charizard like a very sought after card. And so these are just a couple of the BGS Charizards I have for the base set. The highest one being 8.5. And as far as some of our uh, recent open, openings, uh, we have the Team Up Charizard. Which this is actually a reverse, which is nice. And we have a number of the Dragon Majesty Charizards, which I've yet to... Oh, I'm sorry for the glare. I'm not sure how to work around the glare of, of these uh, cards in the card saver so sorry for that but I've yet to get the reverse foil and then this is a couple of the mega Charizard full arts that we've acquired recently and one, one just saw like some card that I kind of bought I'm SGC so it stands for I guess sports card guarantee LLC I've never heard of this service outside of just getting this card randomly but it's nice it's nicely encapsulated um, it's kind of cool and then whoa all right <laughs> so as far as you know being the turtle channel um, you maybe think like oh Blastoise and stuff like that but you know I'm not uh, immune to why people are addicted to Charizard so this is actually a box of just Charizards that are PSA graded so let's just take a quick look Oh, and actually, I want to make one quick announcement, guys. Um, if someday we hit like a very high subscriber count, we'll actually be going into these little tins, uh, these very vintage tins, and these have some of the um, some of my best cards that are graded and ungraded. So uh, I'm not sure what that sub sub goal is, but when we hit it, um, yeah, we're gonna crack into these guys. But back to the Charizard box of PSA cards. So these are just in in no particular order, just some cards. Most of them are uh, so we'll kind of go back in time, starting with the 2006 or 2016, sorry. And then we had a couple or an evolutions Charizard, PSA nine, nice. Uh, 2008 from Stormfront, PSA eight, and this is actually a Japanese one. It is first edition, but I don't think that means a whole lot these days. Uh, then in 2009 we had the Platinum Arceus set, although this one is like the, they called it the Cracked Ice variant, which is very cool. So we got an 8 and two nines. Uh, so we're not exactly going in reverse order, but 2012, Boundaries Cross Charizard. 
and then we have some base sets for PSA graded. Um, so these are on the lower side, or well, I'm not sure, I can't remember how high they go, but this one's only a six. Then we do have a seven, a couple sevens, eight. All right, we got a couple eights. So, Dark Charizard. So, the Dark Charizard was actually the second English printing of the, uh, or second um, Charizard card, you know, if we ignore things like the Shadowless in first edition, which we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, so, this is a Dark Charizard from the Rocket Set, and this one's actually first edition. Hello, PSA 9, or PSA 8, excuse me. And then this one is PSA 9. So this card's really nice. And then one of my favorite ones. So this is Blaine's Charizard from Gym Challenge, PSA 9 First Edition, which is very cool. So one thing that's uh, very interesting about this card that might not a lot of people know, it's hard to, if you can kind of like read the attack, there's actually a fighting energy there versus a fire energy. So that was technically like a misprint. However, ironically, given when they did kind of correct it, uh, the print run was essentially done, so actually the corrected version is actually rarer than the um, than the one with the mistake. And so all these PSA cards are cards I've actually obtained in the graded form where they're already graded. And I've actually never sent my own cards to PSA. I think that is something I want to do in the future. And so this is actually a stack of cards that are you know, potentially ones I would send off. That's why they're all in this card saver versus one of the, the harder covers. Um, and these are all, once again, Charizards. So let's just go through these real quick. Uh, obviously there's a good, good amount of them. So we do have some of those dark Charizards again, and some of them are first edition. Again, I apologize for all this glare. I'm not sure taking all these cards out would take way too much time. And we got some of those Blaine Charizards we're talking about over those, these are not first edition. Base set two. So base set two came out, uh, I think, after Jungle, and it was kind of weird. I don't feel like it didn't, wasn't that popular. Um, I can't remember. I think it was like base and Jungle. I could be wrong, uh, but that never really took, uh, never really gained much traction. Then this, these are some of the Evolution Charizard. Uh, we got another first edition Rocket or Dark Charizard. And then Legendary Collection. I think Legendary Collection consisted of Base, Jungle, Fossil, and Rocket. And this would kind of encapsulate all the different cards from all the different sets. Not only that, but they had this, it was like the first reverse foil, although it wasn't reverse. It was kind of like a uh, firecracker foil almost, which uh, we have actually one later that we'll show. So these are two of the Legendary Collection. You can tell by the um, little like metal emblem. And then we just have, so I'm definitely not uh, immune to the Charizard hype. So from here on out, we have, we have a couple basic Charizards. And we don't need to go through all of them. So, and one, one day if, if I ever start doing my own PSA grading, uh, those can all be sent off. And so, just some other cool Charizard cards, because uh, if, if you watch a lot of openings, you might have heard people say, like, it's like, oh, you know, it's, but it's a Charizard. I mean, or not a, not the best, not the pull I was looking for, but it's a Charizard. And there's a reason for that, that people say that, because, you know, there's just a lot of hype. So, let's just go through some other cards. This is the Japanese promo Pancho Pikachus, where you got the regular Charizard and then the Shining Charizard. Very cool. Not too familiar with this set, but this is essentially Lance's uh, versus series, Charizard. Happens to be first edition as well. Here's that legendary collection card again. So this is that, um, oh, I can't remember what they call it, but to me this is like the first like reverse rare kind of thing. And so this is the Charizard variant. Uh, however, you might notice that this card has practically been folded in half. So uh, this one won't be graded. It's just kind of to show off. And here we have the Gold Star Charizard, which is a super rare card. Uh, however, I did put it in this case because it kind of 
nicely hides the fact that this card is so bent that if I put it in a regular top loader, it like uh, it kind of just spreads the thing open. Um, so this card is also not to be graded, but I kind of found like a cool case to kind of encapsulate it in. And the last Charizard that we're going to show off before we talk about some of the older base set stuff or the different variants of the base set is this Shining Charizard which came in during the Neo era which was towards the end of WotC or Wizards of the Coast printing. So this is really cool. Um, uh, when it came to like, you know, cards, uh, you know, some of the older sets and this was before, uh, you know, you could just look up the sets or before at least I did. Um, I didn't even know this card existed. It's just really cool to have one of these. And this is probably one that I would get graded if I ever went about that. And so the last thing we're going to talk about is the base set again. So most of the stuff you go on eBay, you'll see a lot of like unlimited Charizards and they're not, they're not terribly expensive. In fact, like Charizard's a very like liquid card. Um, however, there's a couple variants and I did go over this in a previous video where there was a shadowless version. I should have a shadowless card right here. So this is a Clefairy. It's only PSA 5. Um, however, if you compare it to, I wish I had another one. Um, oh wait, here we go. A shadowless Charizard compared to this one. Uh, you just you know, might notice that the coloring is a little bit different. The way I look at it is like on the right side, simply it's lighter and they sort of refer to this variant as colorless. And so, you know, as far as the print runs go, there was a first edition, which I don't have a first edition card to show off. Um, those cards are literally cost thousands of dollars. Like even, even ungraded would cost over a thousand dollars. Um, however, like, so that one has that first edition stamp, uh, but also has a shadowless. And then there was just this, so the second, I guess like the unlimited version, however, was shadowless still. And then they did another unlimited print run, which is kind of this base set, where it does have the shadowing. Um, so yeah, this is by Shadowless Charizard, which is very cool. So uh, yeah, something very different. Uh, however, I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, if you did, if you're a fan of Charizard and kind of you know enjoyed this review of my Charizard collection, uh, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, so if people aren't subscribed yet I definitely recommend doing so um, so over time we'll kind of go through different parts of the collection as well as obviously we're, we've been doing a lot of openings uh, especially with the team upset as of recently and yeah I'm not sure at what point but someday you know we might crack into these two boxes and to see some of my best um, ungraded and graded cards so with all that um, thanks for watching guys I hope hope you learned something about uh, you know the Pokemon games, you know, most, in my opinion, one of like the most iconic uh, species or, you know, specifically the, the Pokemon Charizard. Uh, yeah, so I hope you learned something. And if you did enjoy again, you know, uh, thanks for the support, everyone. Uh, Jobber, thanks for the th thanks for the question. I hope <laughs> hope this long winded answer uh, helps you out. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.